Hello, so we are at our local Dollar Tree and we are gonna do the same thing we did last year. We're gonna go in and see everything that they have that is cruise related for our upcoming cruise. And I brought my helpers. Colby and Cameron. Colby, do you have a cold this year? No. So no, but we have braces. No cameraman sniffling this year. Yeah, show y'all your braces. Only, only lisps. lisps. We got braces this year. All right, so let's go in and see what we can find. All right, let's head on into Dollar Tree. Okay, so the first section that we come to is at the very front of the store, and we're here in spring. It's almost Easter, and you can see all the Easter decorations behind me. So these little guys here make great door decorations. So we have used these before. We've used these before. These are a little different than we had last year, but it was very, very similar. And then see the Easter greetings. There's lots of things in this area that you can use for door decorations. If you like doing crossword puzzles or Sudokus by while sitting by the pool, you can pick up a pack of them here. And they're nice size books for a dollar keep you busy the whole cruise if that's your thing. So some cruises will have glow parties and so you can, they will provide glow sticks for you but if you wanna bring your own, you can definitely do that and you can pick them up here for pretty cheap. So, um, you will, what you'll be given pretty much is these necklaces. So I wouldn't pick up any of these but these are fun, these bracelets and there's eight for a dollar and they're small in here and if you have the little, if you have little kids, then they might like something fun like this. They're small, they don't take up hardly any space in your bag, and you'll have something unique um, at the glow party. Glow sticks also make good night lights in an interior room. Okay, there are also a variety of night lights here that will work, but they will take up some of the few plugs that you have. Or another option are these um, faux tea light candles. So they're battery operated, and these will work as night lights as well. If you think you may do laundry on this ship, you can buy these laundry pods and dryer sheets for a dollar each as well. These dry erase boards have magnets on the back so they will stick to your walls and your doors so you can leave notes for everybody and they come with one pin here or you can find multiple packs of different color dry erase markers as well. Okay, during the spring and summer, you will be able to find flip-flops here. Now, I will tell you these don't have a whole lot of grip on the bottom but they are good, um, maybe not so much for by the pool, but on the beach and stuff like that. And then there are also sun hats. You can even sometimes find ball caps in here. Those are always handy. Something else great you're gonna find here are tote bags. So there's all kinds of different bags here. These are different bags, like shoulder bags. And then you've got these that are like little drawstring backpack. Down here, we've got a clear like cosmetic bag. So there's all kinds of bags um, that you can find here. And you can find these pretty much year round. Okay, boxes, little divider boxes like this or like this are really great for um, separating out jewelry that you're gonna bring on the cruise. Um, so they do, these have lids, these do not. But so I like getting one. Sometimes you can find them smaller than this too. This one's kind of big. But sometimes you can find smaller than this and separate out the different jewelry and things you're gonna bring. So there's a lot of these travel size items here. So you've got gold bond lotion, shaving cream, mouthwash. Let's see, this is ivory body wash. All kinds of different things here. Oh yeah, little deodorants sunscreens and these are all in the um, correct size for flying as well okay these are a travel must if you've got any of your own types of items that you like to bring so these are um, TSA approved size wise so you, get, you can get three packs for a dollar or like this one is three with a little spray bottle okay also shower caps now I have a tip for shower caps. Okay, so shower caps are not gonna be used for what you think they are. They're not for actually showering. You put those over your shoes when you pack and it keeps your dirty shoes off of your clean clothes. And you can get eight for a dollar here, so that's pretty darn good. Okay, 
Also, if you like your own spongies for um, your showers, you can get two of these for a dollar and then you can just throw them away after the cruise. Also, you can find things like this, which is a travel hairbrush. So see, it folds in and then will comp has a little bitty mirror and it will fold compact and take up very little space in your uh, day pack. Okay, so organization for your cabin. Um, and other items are over here as well. Let me show you what all they've got. Okay, so there are laundry bags. So these fold, you see, completely flat. And then you can put your dirty laundry in here. They also sometimes have pop-up hampers, but they don't have those at this time. But these laundry bags are great. Then these little bitty mesh laundry bags have a secret for these too, okay? These work great for collecting seashells. So they're small, you can put your seashells in them, dip them in the water to clean them off, and um, bring those home. Another thing that's great are these collapsible drawers. So you see they collapse completely flat, and because I have had cabins that didn't have any drawers. So these are great for putting your underwear and socks and things in. Okay, also we've got clips. So these are big clips. These are great for holding your beach towel onto your beach chair. And then the plain wooden clips are great for there's a line in your shower to hang up on um, your wet swimwear. And you can also pick up a lint roller, which is a really good thing to have on formal night because you just never know when you need that. Okay, you can also get these packs of uh, antibacterial disinfecting wipes. These are always a great, great thing to have both on the ship and when you go into port. Just let me say, I'm not saying that you need to buy each and every one of these things. I'm just showing all of the items that are available at Dollar Tree and you pick and choose the ones that are right for you and your family. Okay, so in addition to the travel packs of wet wipes, and you can see you can get them in all kinds of different packaging, are these travel hand sanitizer. You see it's got a clip so it can go straight on the outside of your backpack. These are great for when the days you go into port. One of my favorite aisles here for cruising is the medicine aisle. You can get just about every kind of medicine imaginable for a dollar. I like to buy the things that I think I'm going to need or I'm afraid I might need and build me a first aid kit and keep it with me because if you have to buy medicines on the ship, they are very expensive. So let me kind of show you some of the things they have here. Okay, so you can get band-aids in every shape, size, little cute band-aids, regular band-aids, and then you've got all your pain relief here. So your um, naproxen, uh, acetaminophen, ibuprofen, all of these. Um, if you need any type of antibiotic ointment or hydrocortisone cream, anti-itch cream. If you're a light sleeper and you think you might need some help sleeping, they have those too. And Lord knows tummy problems can develop on a cruise from overeating. So we have Tums, Pepto-Bismol, gas relief, antacids. Pretty much, like I said, if, you, if you're worried about getting sick, there's airborne here, there's the nasal sprays, allergy relief, sinus medicines. So a little bit of everything. Cough drops, that's something I always bring. One time I did get a sinus infection on the ship. Didn't, I had a box of sinus medicine, needed cough drops, $6 for a bag of cough drops on the ship. Yep, that's what they cost. And then they have these great pill boxes. So, I usually have one this size and one this size. So instead of bringing all these bottles individually, I will take one of these and put acetaminophen in here, ibuprofen in here, allergy pills in here, uh, tummy medicine in this one, and put a label on each one of the different medicines and then I have everything I need right here. And then on a smaller scale, and this one I keep in my cabin. And then I do a smaller one to go in my, in my backpack when we go into port. So I have a little bit of each medicine with me at all times. And they do have sunscreen here. I have bought the sunscreen. It works just like any other sunscreen, and it only costs a dollar. And they also have aloe vera. Now, if you're flying, you'll have to watch the ounces, but this is only three ounces, so this does work for flying. But this one looks too big. 
This one is six ounces, so you couldn't take this one, but these bottles will be just fine. And there's 30 SPF, and then down here is 50, so I'm grabbing a couple of these 50s. Be sure and stock up on sunscreen. Sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. Be, bring more than you think you will need, because I promise you, you will need it. You will turn red. You will turn red. You will burn. Even put some on your scalp. Okay, now we are to the dental section. So I always like to buy a toothbrush for each person. So you can get a family pack of four toothbrushes for a dollar and use them on your trip and never use them again if you don't want to. Then there are these size toothpastes, which I like because they're a little bigger than those travel size. So there's more in them, but they're still small enough to um, not take up too much space. And there are good toothbrushes as well. So they've got Oral-B, Colgate. So if you want to get a better toothbrush for your travels, they have those too. And don't forget your floss picks or your dental floss. There are bottles of mouthwash here. So if you're driving, you can grab one of these. That is a bigger bottle. Um, if you're flying, you will need the smaller bottles. But I do like a little bit bigger bottle um, since we are driving to port this time. Movie theater candy. So if you're going on a cruise and it has one of those big screens where they show the movies by the pool, you can grab you some candy for movie night. Or if you're going on a Disney cruise and they show movies in the theater, you can buy the um, candy on the ship but it's a whole lot cheaper here at Dollar Tree. Granola bars are something I always like to get and put in our uh, bag for when we go into port. So you can get um, some here. I would not recommend the chocolate covered ones, but the other ones are not a bad buy. Okay, gallon Ziploc bags and quart size bags have so many uses from just keeping things organized in your bag to bringing back wet items. Always pick up some of these. <laughs> Pull the tag back. <laughs> Okay, that's funny. All right, so last but not least, there are sunglasses here. And see, these are pretty decent looking sunglasses, huh? You look cool. You look awesome. <laughs> but seriously, look, all the sunglasses here. And they cost a dollar. I mean, how cool is that? These things are actually pretty cool. And there's, there's kids' sunglasses for your kiddos. These things last like Yeah, they're, still... they're good sunglasses. There's a whole lot of them too. They're cheap. Well they are cheap. But... They're they're cheap in dollars, but they're not cheaply made. Yeah. Make sense? Okay. And then they also have these which will attach to your sunglasses to where you can just hang them around your neck. Definitely right. Or there are sunglass pouches down here so your sunglasses don't get scratched.